Well, let's look at some other news, and I'm going to go back to the feedback here in a while. We'll give everyone a break. There's there's uh, there's things we got to talk about here today. So the uh, what is subject to switch to the Dynamite Show did 1.175 million viewers on TNT. Down 10.9% from last week's all-out Fallout episode. Still the fourth highest audience in the history of the show. 18-49, to 49, Dynamite topped the cable charts with a .44, down 29.4% from last week. Raw did either a .43 or a .42. But one way or the other, I have the, either of those are under .44. Also led cable in 25 to 54 with a 0.52, finished in 18 to 34 second with a 0.27. And of course, the Monday Raw show, there's two things. Obviously, Raw was smashed by Monday Night Football, along with everything else in the top 50 chart. Football does not only affect Raw, just to make sure everybody knows that. So Raw was smashed by football, but they also. They hot-shotted and essentially promised you a world title change. And so, as we've learned many times, I, I'm trying to think of one time, maybe somebody can come up with an example, where hot-shotting has been a benefit long-term to any professional wrestling company. They did a hot-shot angle on Monday. They still lost 18-49 to 49 to Dynamite. Now, next week, Dynamite is going to Arthur Ashe with a pay-per-view card. What has Raw got? Are you going to give the briefcase back to somebody and, and tease a cash? I don't know what they're going to do on Monday, but Monday going up against Monday Night Football, Wednesday at Arthur Ashe. This could be, as I noted yesterday on Twitter, much to many people's dismay, a massacre. This could be a massacre. WWE then immediately, like within moments of this number coming out, they announced Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar will be headlining the Saudi Arabia Crown Jewel Show on Thursday, October 21st. So, I mean, they said, well, you know, if the Demon wins, it'll be a non-title match. But, I mean, announcing it. It's Finn Balor, by the way. You know he's talking about how cool he thinks the uh, the Forbidden Door is? That's why I throw that out there. But anyway, he'll be uh, facing Roman Reigns at Extreme Rules and uh, will invariably lose. And quite frankly, it would be foolish for him to win. But then we move on to this big match here. Back in Saudi Arabia for WWE, they can make their $50 million for one show. And if you're wondering why the show is in Saudi Arabia, this big match, and not at WrestleMania, because these Saudi shows blitz WrestleMania when it comes to the amount of money made. So your big matches are going to Saudi Arabia. They're not going to WrestleMania. They'll still do a big match for WrestleMania, don't get me wrong. But the amount of money made in Saudi Arabia is so much bigger than the amount of money made for WrestleMania now, especially with the show available for $4.99 on Peacock. So that's the story there. Any thoughts on these numbers, Mike? And then I got a comment that I probably shouldn't make on a on a day like this, but I'm going to anyway. Okay. okay. Uh, well, I, I won't uh, let you dangle out there too long with it, but... Uh... I wonder what the the only thing gets me. I mean, the the numbers are what the numbers are, and the W still a hot show right now. A million viewers, no no quarter under a million once again. So all that stuff good. When it comes to Saudi Arabia, Bobby Lashley and Goldberg again, so Goldberg can get revenge for his son. There's no title that gets in the way. He can beat Bobby Lashley clean. I guess you could do that as well. So what you got? I just thought it was funny that uh, people go so crazy about these these numbers here, and I went back and I, I found a random a random raw from a few months ago, and I chose this raw because it didn't do very well, it didn't do a very good viewership. Uh, the viewership of the show was uh, one point six nine million viewers. Okay, this was the July sixth episode. Uh, July 6th, 2020. So actually it was over a year ago. But oh, they're in the middle of the pandemic. Uh, it's affected wrestling. The The numbers are down. And the show did 1.6 something million viewers. But interestingly enough, despite only doing, I'll get the exact number here, 1.687 million viewers, which is a very bad viewership for Raw, the show was number four, five, and six on cable. 
And I remember this week because the show lost to Below Deck Mediterranean, which is a very popular show there, and uh, 90 Day Fiance, or as I like to call it, 90 Day Finance, and uh, 90 Day B90D Strikes Back, okay? Those are the three shows that beat Raw. But despite Raw doing a poor viewership, they were still four, five, and six on cable. So all the WWE fans, oh, it's still four, five, and six. All you people talking about everything's terrible. It's four, five, and six on cable. Well, then you bring up that uh, AEW beat them in the cable charts, and then people get furious. They're like, 1.17 is more than 1.175. So I thought about it, and I went back, and I thought... All those fans that were so excited that Raw was 4, 5, and 6 on the charts, even though they did a poor number, where would they be if you ranked that chart that week by viewership? (laughs) Which they don't do. They rank it by the 18 to 49. But people don't want to hear that. So I thought, where would they be that week if it was ranked by total viewership? You know where they would be? 20, 21, and 22. 19 shows that week beat Raw in total viewership. But they were ranked 4, 5, and 6 celebratory because they were ranked by the 18 to 49. You dare rank AEW by 18 to 49 and compare it to Raw. Now all of a sudden everybody wants it ranked by the viewership. Well, if you want it ranked by the viewership, that's okay. But your Raw is not going to be in the top 10 on cable. It's going to be much lower. So anyway, I thought I'd throw that out there because... People accuse me of moving the goalposts. And meanwhile, all I see is goalposts moving. Am I wrong? No, I'm not wrong. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.